Hello, I am the Programming Dunce, and in this video I am going to introduce the message map and drawing mechanisms in an MFC application. In the previous video, you saw that the basic Windows applications have a winproc function that catches messages the Windows OS sends to it. MFC applications have that too, but it's buried deep within, just as winmain is. When writing an MFC message, you don't touch that function at all. Instead, you work with message maps featured within your MFC generated classes. Note that there are two different types of messages, command messages and Windows messages. Windows messages are directly derived from the messages Windows sends. The names of the methods are pre-named and their parameters are predetermined based off of the message they respond to. As a result, all your message map needs to do is declare that your class handles them. As far as I could tell, they are exclusive to view-based classes. Command messages are more flexible as you can define new messages and handlers for them. Although they can't appear in just any class in your project, they can appear in multiple MFC-based classes, including the document class. Because they are customized, your message map needs to register its name and the method that handles it. There are two types of command messages, basic commands and UI update commands. Basic command methods have no parameters, whereas UI update methods have a pointer to a UI command object. I have never used the latter, I just used the former. Whenever you set up a message map, you should do the following things. In the class's header file, declare the methods and then add the macro declare then create class name here at the top and the macro declare message map towards the bottom. In the corresponding source file, add the macro implement then create class name here, base class here, and declare your message map as seen in the image. Many of your MFC classes have standard methods that are called automatically throughout your program's run. In this video, we will look at the view classes on draw method, which takes in a pointer to a device context with which you can do some drawing. I'll leave a link in the description below regarding all of the methods available to the CDC class. But typically, the method would summon the document class and get the data from that class and draw it out accordingly. Now, I'm going to create a new project to showcase this information. I'm going to create an MFC application and I'm just going to use the basic settings. I'm going to offer a basic file type with the extension to specify. As long as you don't use one of the more common file types like exe, html, doc, or docx amongst others, you should be fine. briefly talk about the C array, which is MFC's own dynamic array, like the standard library's vector class. Like the vector class, it is a generic type that can hold any type of data you specify when creating one. In the document class, 
I have an active C array for C points, as well as a method for retrieving a constant pointer to that array. I then want to point out that I have implemented a mouse click handler. Notice how the method responding to the mouse clicks has a macro called AFX message which is defined to be nothing, meaning you could hypothetically put that macro anywhere. However, you typically put it in front of message method prototypes so MFC programmers can distinguish between them and regular methods. In the method itself, all I do is add the point to the C array in the document class and call the documents update all views method. This has the effect of drawing currently active views which in turn calls the view objects on draw method. In the on draw method, we once again access the document object. This time, we go through the C array and drawing the various points using the method that sets pixels. We actually update multiple pixels so that they're easier to see. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this program in action for a few seconds. In the next video, I will introduce the topic of serialization, MFC's mechanism for saving and loading your documents.